तो I hope now it's working. Please communicate to your friends that they can refresh or reconnect. Send WhatsApp. Any other? Sixteen. Okay, people who are connected, please try to do this CET two thousand nineteen question. If A and B are two events of sample space, yes, such that P of A equals to zero point two, comma P of B is equals to zero point six, and P of A given B is zero point five, then the value of P of A dash B. I can give you a hint. Use property three. Use property. You remember the property three? That is, P of A dash given B is equals to one minus P of A given B. So they are given this data, P of A and P of B, just to confuse you. What you need is only this. This so substitute. P of A given B is given zero point five. This is one minus zero point five. That is one by two. Option C. All right. Next, can we move on? How many are there? So please communicate to your friends that now link is working. Let them join. So we'll wait for a minute. Am I going too fast? Yeah. Uh, so we have a constraint in CET. We have really have to do. That's why I'm going a little bit fast compared to previous classes. Because as you already know all of these concepts, here you don't have to write any of these things. Just put the values and simply get the answer as quickly as possible. You don't need to write the formula. Just substitute the values and. You have to answer as quickly as you can because within one minute you have to answer this. Okay, let's move on. I'll go play this on you. You can understand. Okay, if A and B are two events such that P of A is 0.8, P of B is 0.6, and P of A in section B is 0.5, then the value of P of A given B is. So you can use direct formula here. All of you know A. P of A given B. P of A in section B divided by P of B. A in section B is given. That is 0.5. And P of B is 0.6. That is 5 by 6. Option A. So can we move on? Next. A coin is tossed three times in succession. If E is the event that there, that there are at least two heads and F is the event in which 
first throw is head. Then P of E given F. Here E and F they are given verbally. A given B dasha. Same. What do you will put? If the Godru has asked one question, sir, if it is the case of P of A given B dash, what do you do? Same formula you have to apply. P of A given B dash equals to P of A intersection B dash divided by P of B dash. It's like that. Okay, students. Sorry for the technical uh, issue. Sometimes because of the network issues. So we are facing this problem. I think early morning it was good. Maybe I think now many people are logging onto the system. That's why there is a huge load of network. So we will see how we can resolve these issues going forward. So this one, you please try to visualize the Sample space first. Find okay. pass three times means eight. You have got eight outcomes. Sample space. You can visualize that, right? Then e is the event that there are at least two heads. At least two heads means you can see here H H two or more H H uh, or triple H H H T and H T H. Four you will get. Number of E is four. What about number of F? F is the event in which first throw is head. Means all these four you will get. That is four. Number of F is four. Now you want E intersection F. If you want to calculate E given F, you need E intersection F. Means there should be at least two heads and first should be H. So that is how many are there? One, two, three. Only 3. Number of E in section F is 3. So what is probability of E given F? Probability of E in section F divided by probability of F. That is N of E in section F divided by N of F. E divided by 4. Option A. Option A is correct. Next. Can we move on? 20th. This looks a little bit lengthy, but it's actually simple. Uh, it is, uh, I, you know, this. Whenever you see any words like this, you try to put it in the form of a picture. Whatever numbers you get, you try to put it in the form of a picture. Can you please? I want to read the question also. Can you please show me the question, please? In a group of, you show me. You can get with me. You am there. Yeah. It is in a group of fourteen males and six females. So there is a big six females. Six females. Okay. There are eight people who are whose age is greater than forty years. This is a classification. And in the females, they are greater than forty years. Okay. So this is the another criteria they have given. First they have given in this group. First male and female, then in this male they are looking who are the older people, that is more than 40 years, people like me. And here also, there are six females and they are looking at who are the older people, like Madhu Maiden, more than 40 years. Now the question, so you have to visualize like that, then it is easy to answer for you people. The probability that a person selected at random from the group is aged above 40 years. Now from this you are picking randomly one person. Now you wanted that person to be aged above 40 years. Means this group. From this you want. Given that the selected person is a female and they are telling that you are selecting from the 
Finish. So you are not selecting from the male group. Means your sample space becomes six. And how many are favorable here? Three. The answer is one by q. So directly you can get the required probability. You can create individual events and try using formula. You will get the same answer. Okay. Just to save time, you can directly put the answer. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here is the solution option A. Yeah, I hope you understood. Okay, this document anyway you will get it. In case if you want to go through this later, you can go through it. Uh, this is also something similar. I will skip this problem due to lack of time. But you can actually uh, similar fashion, same similar uh, type. It's for additional practice I have put here. You please do it, and I'll be sharing this document. Next question. Yeah, this is a simple one. A card is picked at random from a pack of cards. Given that the picked card is queen, what is the probability that it is a spade? I think we did su such kind of problem earlier also one. So now you are picking, uh, they are telling that you have picked queen. So how many queens are there? Pack of 52 cards, only four. And what is the probability that it is a spade? So all these four, each suit it will be there. One spade, one diamond, one hertz, one club. So one, one divided by two. Okay. Next. Uh, this one is simply based on the third uh, property. Here E bar means E dash. E bar, F bar are the complementary events of E and F respectively. And if probability of F is less than 1, greater than 0, then they have given some conditions here. Please observe carefully the first condition. There is nothing but your property 3. Probability of E bar, that is E dash given F is 1 minus probability of E given F. If we bring that this side, this is on from, from property 3. If you bring this one this side, what happens? Some of these two things will become one. That's it. Okay. Option A. So this, this is a conditional probability. This is a little, uh, no, it looks like complex. If you go to ask something now, if I have A given B dash what? It doesn't matter. Whenever you have this uh, problem, I'll do it for you people. How much time we have got? Oh, only seven minutes. Okay, I I, I have to, I have given the solution here. Please go through it. I'm sure you can understand this. So basically, probability of x equals to nine given y equals zero. I, I, it doesn't matter to me what I do. Probability of x equals to nine intersection probability of y equals zero divided by probability of y equals to zero. Then we'll see what is x and y. X x and y denote the sum and product of the digits on the tickets. Okay, x equals to 9 means what? Sum is 9. Y, uh, y equals 0 means product is 0. Please spend some time, you will understand this because I have given the solution here. So you see here, y product is 0. When you will get product is 0 from the numbers 0, 0 to 99, 0 into 0, wherever 0 is there, you get 0. 0, 0, 1, 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 9, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So these are all the numbers where product is 0. And then x denotes what? The sum. The sum. Now you take where y is 0, but sum is 9. This is x equals to 9. So that you will get only 2, that is 0, 9 and 9, comma 0. Because we need intersection, that's why you are taking the intersection. So then you just apply, substitute it in the formula, you get this value. Okay. 
this is actually based on um, bias die means it is not equally likely this is also a very tricky one please look at this carefully i'll pause for a minute and also i'll read this here uh, like axiomatic approach they have given the probability of each outcome so when you throw a die you have got outcomes what 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 outcomes are there but they are telling that it is a bias die means 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 they are not getting the you know, equal chance of occurring one there is a less chance that is 0.1 to 0.32 there is a higher chance of occurring 3 0.21 4 0 0.15, 5 0.05, even less chance. 6 0.13. 3 all these three, all these six must be one. Okay. Now the die is tossed, and you are told that either phase one or two has turned up. You are telling that here also you did one problem where you know sample space they are restricting. Like one or two has turned up. It's already happened. One or two. You are assuming that it has come. Either one or two has come. The probability that it is phase one. You know that either one or two has come. Now what is the probability that it is one? There is a conditional probability here, right? So what is the probability that one or two can come? You have to take summation of these two. Zero point one and zero point three two. That is zero point four two. What is the probability of here one means? I know when you throw a die, phase one has occurred. That is the meaning of one here. One intersection A means it should be one, not one and two. That is zero point one. Zero point one divided by probability of A. You already found that is zero point four two. If you simplify this, you get ten uh, by or. Uh, Ten by forty-two. Ten by forty-two. If you simplify, two fives, two twenty-ones. Option A. Now, last but one concept. Only one question will do it here. Only one question was asked last, you know, in the previous year. Remaining two is a, as a homework. I'll give for you people. Solution. Look at this. This was asked in CET two thousand fourteen. Two cards are drawn at random from a pack of fifty-two cards. The probability of these two being cases is, as in, you have got a pack of cards, fifty-two, and you are picking two cards. And both of them you wanted aces. We did one example. We picked three cards. I think if I remember, you wanted two kings and ace, aka a. But here, what you wanted? Just two aces. Probability of. So you will use now and A and A, right? A intersection A. So and means multiplication theorem. First time, what is the probability of getting A? Out of 52, so 4 by 52. Then you already picked one. Then how many are left? 51. How many aces are there? Three. So multiply those two. You get 4 by 52 into 3 by 51 that is 1 by 13 into 1 by 17. 1 by 221. Okay. Can we move on? Next, this one. Uh, so I'll give. I'll you, you know same, same uh, formula multiplication theorem. You please go through this and do it yourself. I'm sure you will understand. I've given the solution also here. I'll be sharing this document. Try itself. I'll share this so that you can practice these questions. This is also same simple question. Twenty nine is little uh, lengthy, but go through the solution. Uh, if you don't understand, you please ask me separately. I will explain you people. But if you go through the steps, I'm sure you will understand. So let's take the last concept is independent events. So you know yesterday you learned independent events. Probability of E in section F equals to probability of E into probability of F is the main condition. Right. So based on that, we can do 
uh, problems and then we also we did some example problems if e and f are independent e dash and f are independent e and f dash are independent and also e dash f dash are independent like that you have learned some properties so based on those properties you may have to use you can see here so ct 2014 uh, this question is the events a and b are independent if p of a dash equals to 2 by 3 and p of b dash equals to 2 by 7 then p of a in section b whenever you look for the word a and b are independent immediately you should, you should get the condition p of a in section b is p of a into p of b but here p of a is not given p of a dash is given so you can find p of a that is 1 minus p of a dash 1 minus 2 by 3 Similarly, P of B you can find that is 1 minus P of B dash. So you can see the solution. So P of A is 1 minus P of A dash. That is 1 minus 2 by 3. That is 1 by 3. Similarly, P of B dash. 1 minus 2 by 7. That is 5 by 7. Now P of A in section B direct formula. P of A into P of B. 26th question. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I'll go back. Some someone is asking 26. Maybe I'll just wait. I'll finish this and then I'll go back. Have you understood this 38th question? Isn't it simple? Okay, let's move on. Option B. There are two more questions. We'll just see this and then we'll go back to 26. This CET 2017. Two events A and B will be independent if the conditions they have given. P of A dash in section B dash is equals to 1 minus P of A into 1 minus P of B. Just now we did the previous problem. It's up now. Same concept. What is P of A dash in section P of B dash? P of A dash into P of B dash. What is P of A dash? 1 minus P of A. What is P of B dash? 1 minus P of B. We just multiply those two. This condition seems to be two. Is two uh, probabilities need to be equal? No. If you can say that if two probabilities are equal, then it is independent. An example of tossing a coin. Head and tail. Uh, there it is equal, right? Probability of getting head and probability of getting tail. It, uh, these two are equal. But are they independent? No. So option B is wrong. And A and B are mutually exclusive. No, this is actually quite opposite. If it is mutually exclusive, it will never be independent. This is also wrong option. Last one, sum of the probabilities is 1. When it is 1, when it is mutually exclusive, it is 1. If it is mutually exclusive, it cannot be independent. So only correct option is first one. Okay. So option A. I hope you understood. So based on this concept, there are two more questions. Just you know, substituting the values. I am sure you can do this. If A and B are two independent events such that P of B is 0 0.4 and P of A union B is given here. Whenever you think of A union B, think of addition rule. Then P of A in section B. So you need to find out P of A in section B. P of A is not given here. But you know addition, addition rule. You apply the addition rule. In terms of that, you know, if you substitute P of A union B and P of A in section B, you will get everything in terms of P of A. That is 1 by, if you simplify this, you will get 1 by A. Okay. P of A is 1 by 3. Once you get P of A, then you can calculate P of A in section B. Okay, shall we move on? Answer is D. The last question. Uh, this is also a very tricky one. But I'll explain you this because this is a tricky one. I must explain this. Uh, for two events A and B, if P of A equals to P of A given B is equals to 1 by 4 and P of B given A is 1 by 2. Then, here there are 4 options. 
a and b are independent p of a dash given b dash equals to a by 4 p of b dash given a dash equals to 1 by 2 b is all of this if you observe this here what are we saying probability of a is equals to probability of a given b is equals to 1 by 4 so what does it mean probability of a given b probability of a in section b by probability of b if you take these two things cross product probability of a in section b is equals to probability of a into probability of b what does it mean a and b are independent events if a and b are independent events a dash b dash are independent we already know that property yes or no yeah. so first option is correct a and b are independent now the second option you see a dash b dash b dash are independent what does it mean so a, probability of a dash will not depend upon b dash so you can say that this is nothing but probability of probability of a dash that's it similarly c option c probability of b dash a dash means probability, probability of b dash given a dash will be b dash it does not depend on a dash so option b is you, you can also calculate probability of a in section b how probability of a into probability of b given a these two are given actually from that you will get 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 8 now as a dash and b dash are independent probability of a dash given b dash is nothing but probability of a dash that is 1 minus probability of a that is given 1 minus 1 by 4 you get 3 by 4 ok hence a dash and b dash are independent here it should be dash Similarly, probability of B dash, probability of B also is 1 by 2 because A and B are independent. A does not matter. Yeah. Irrespective of that, it will be probability. Uh, B will not change. That is 1 by 2 you will take. Probability of B dash given A dash, that is probability of B dash. So 1 minus probability of B is 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Even B also is correct correct option here is D. Okay. This is the most. Next is Bayes theorem. Next class will discuss the three concepts. Bayes theorem, random variable and Bernoulli's trials. So, question number 26. Okay. Let us go back to that. Question number 26. What is that? Ah, yeah. It's a simple question. You are basically multiplication theorem. You need to get two aces. First time, you know that in a pack of 52 cards, you have got four aces. First time when you pick the ace, what is the now available cards? 52. But how many are favorable? Four are favorable. That is 4 by 52. Now you have already picked one ace card. Okay. This is actually you have to assume here it is without replacement. Okay. Maybe they should have mentioned here. Now, uh, you know, this is the assumption that we are making. Okay, it is without replacement. Because you have picked already one card. Now, another card is uh, you are picking. That is for that you have got 51. Out of that, only 3 are favorable for ace. That's why it is. Uh, you, are pick two cards, uh, you are picking both the cards at a time. Nah? So, that's why it is. I don't have to even assume. Two cards are at a time. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. So, uh, I, some of the questions I actually uh, went through a little bit fast. The reason is we have, we have to cover up many questions. But anyway, all those questions based on the concepts what we have discussed, you can actually do it yourself. In fact, I will be sending this document to all of you. So, please go through this. Whatever questions that I have skipped, so you should try to do that by yourself. And even the solutions will be there in that. So, you can easily understand. Okay. Thank you very much. So, uh, tomorrow, as usual, we will continue with the probability based theorem, etc. But see, see, once these things are over, we will schedule one CET class once again on that. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Namaste. Thank you very much.
Namaste. Bye bye. Well, that's it.